Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get the title, the hallowed and the achievement hallowed be by name. What a weird name for an achievement, actually. You want and you need this achievement if you want the wild prototype by the end of the next year. So just follow up the guideline. It's a pretty easy achievement list. And uh, by the way, if you aren't already 80, you should maybe consider checking out Rested XP. And with the code Mixo official, you get 5% off. All right, let's jump right into the video. Alright, the first achievement that you need to do is the Masquerade. Get transformed by the Halloween ones listed below. The Bat, the Pirate, the Skeleton, the Ninja, the Wisp, the Liber Gnome and the Ghost. Really important guys, on this achievement, the Masquerade, you need to be transformed by the Halloween ones. But this need to use on you by other players. Best way to do this is with friends or go to a group finder, pre-made groups, custom groups. The ones can be found in a handful of trades or from the innkeeper's bag that you can purchase every hour. The next achievement is check your head. Use weighted jago lantern to put pumpkin heads on each of the races listed below. Undead knight of gnome, troll, human, dwarf, tauren, drenai, orc and blood elf. Every single race in the game at the moment and well the best way to do is stay just in dollar run and then look for the race and throw the weighted jack-o-lantern where can you find the weighted jack-o-lantern well for some on the auction house and then on the horseman himself if you can loot him or you just do the daily quest for the halloween event and you will obtain those weighted jack-o-lantern as well and if you already talk about daily quests, the next achievement is the savior of Hellos and actually a really easy one, complete one of the quests to save a village from the headless horsemen. That means you just simply go to a village and then just delete the fire there. The best village to do this is actually Falcon Wing Square if you don't have a lot of population on your server. Hard servers, hard villages could be for example Brill or Razor Hill because you got a long distance to walk. For Alliance the best way to do this is actually Azure Watch. The distance between the water and the fire buildings is easy to do it solo. The next achievement is called Rotten Halloween's probably the easiest from all here. Ruin Hallows and for the lands by completing Dark Colors Yanka's quest which involves going to South Shore and throwing there some stinky stinky bombs and then just going into the inn and activating the barrel there so you can complete the quest going straight back to Dark Color Yanka and just turn in the quest and you will get the achievement. The next achievement is called G-Nerd. Earn 50 honorable kills while under the influence of G-Nerd buff. It's a slap in the face. Those little candies, you can get them from the innkeeper from the hand of threads and uh, just put them on and go straight to winter grasp and uh, well you're gonna have it in less than 15 minutes the next achievement is called the sparkling smile and no this one is not an advertise for any toothbrush here you just simply go to an innkeeper and ask him for a trick or trade and maybe you're lucky and you get a toothpick just put it on and you get that achievement easy easy done the next achievement we want to talk about is out with it eat so many tricky treats that you get an upset tummy that sounds so good and now i have i want some candies now so basically what you guys have to do is get the tricky treats from the bags from the innkeeper or even from the horseman himself unfortunately i wasn't lucky enough to get one but you kind of need like two to three sometimes five and uh, you will get this achievement then we're coming to a closer end the next one is sinister calling obtain a sinister squashing pet in a hello town those can be obtained by the innkeeper's back or from the horseman himself Really important here, your hello turn from TBC doesn't count here, so you have to get a new one. And last but not least, tricks and treats of Azeroth. That means you have to basically visit every, every, every single innkeeper in Kalimdor, innkeeper in Eastern Kingdoms, innkeeper in Outland and just visit them, get the little uh, tricky buckets and treat buckets and well that's all you have to do for this achievement it's just like time consuming because you have to fly everywhere but if you are boosted character guess what yes you will have every single fly path in the game so that's simple right oh that's it